Welcome back to fans, Lazy Gamer here. In the last week and a half, I have tried to learn and implement what I am now going to teach you in the forthcoming video series about how to set up a proper PK3 file for use with your map making. What are PK3 files, you may ask? Some of you might have seen or used one for getting custom textures in your game at least, like the high-res texture pack I am using. PK3s can be so much more than that. Through this series I will set up an example of how you can gather all the custom things you need to make your map like you want, and then use it as a resource in the builder. When you are done with your map WOD, simply put that WOD inside the PK3 and release it. And anyone playing it will have no trouble playing it because all the resources required will be with your maps. Just like you would have put it inside the WOD really, but you have more control this way. That was a lot of information dumped on you all at once, but don't worry, I will go through it step by step and explain everything as I go. Hopefully in the end you will understand and be able to use that knowledge in the future. You no longer need to put everything inside your WOD when releasing it. The PK3 will be your full map or maps within with the WODs inside it. Let us start at the beginning with the video coming up, but there are two things we need to prepare first. Go to this site, uh, link will be in the description, and download this. It will be one file with three, uh, or it will be one. zip file with three programs in it then open your version of slade go to edit preferences graphics and png and uh, put those three files uh, like indicated here and you will have something that looks like this apply okay and we're done with slate for now we will come back to slate later obviously now open your version of GZ Doom Builder and press F6 or go to tools and game configuration. You should have, I am exclusively, exclusively using this GZ Doom Doom 2 UDMF. And whatever you have here, we are going to add one more thing, which will be uh, very useful. Uh, we will need it in the following videos to come. Add resource from PK3, PK7, add, find your GZ Doom folder, not the builder, but um, framework, add GZ Doom PK3, open, and this is very, very, very important, hopefully I will flash uh, an important um, text on the screen right now. Click this, exclude the resource from testing. 
that is very important because um, this file is run by GC Doom. It that is its its resources. And normally, we if we are just making a vanilla map, we don't need this. But for our um, custom, some of our custom resources to show up in the editor, we will need it so that the editor know knows what the hell is going on. However, if we try to test our map through the GC Doom Builder without this ticked, the builder will load this and then GC Doom will load this and we will get a crash because it is loaded twice. So we don't need to run a test with this on. This is just so that um, our map can understand the custom stuff so we can place it and that's pretty much it we are done with our preparations so hopefully you followed all that preparations complete in the next couple of videos we will tackle textures how to make or get them and implement them into our pk3 i know you might want to skip to a specific video but i will do things in sequence so please at least watch every video once before selecting specific topic videos in the meantime, this has been your host, the Lazy Gamer, logging off. Bye, guys.